click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends this is the concluding video of the chapter wavelets and multi resolution processing to understand digital image processing subject as of now in this particular chapter we are covered with the understanding what exactly the image pyramids are followed by the sub band coding and the review of hard transform these are the three techniques along with the multi resolution analysis theory has been developed so regarding the wavelets we have seen the wavelets into the one dimensional into the two dimensional with the computationally efficient transform that is called as fast wavelet transform so with this much of understanding let us have the miscellaneous problem number 1 based on to the image pyramids so let us begin with the topic so here we can start with the miscellaneous problem number 1 based on to the image pyramidal concept so let us take the problem statement the problem statement starts with construct a fully populated approximation pyramid and the construct a fully populated approximation pyramid and corresponding prediction residual pyramid for the image the image sample is given to us in the matrix form it is represented as f of x comma y the two spatial coordinates and given by with the dimensions 4 by 4 so here we have four rows and four columns here so the first row is having the elements 1 2 3 4 next row 5 6 7 8 the third row 9 10 11 12 12 and the last row fourth one here we have 13 14 15 and 16 so 16 elements with the span of four rows and four columns are given as input image next the statement continues use the 2 by 2 block neighborhood averaging for the approximation filter into the figure and assume the interpolation filter omitted so for having the pyramids of these particular types generated the procedure is shown to us with the help of the figure that already we have studied while having the image pyramidals uh, before the multi resolution analysis that is given by here so here this is the input provided as a level j here input image it is fed to the approximation filter on this particular path and to the summer directly on this particular path the approximation filter is along with the down sampler with the factor of 2 here here we have on this branch the up sampler the down sampling and up sampling where we have called it to be either the decimation and interpolation also the change into the sampling rate by the use of zeros in case of interpolation to increase the length to make it double the interpolation filter along with and the prediction here we obtain and provide it to the summer on to the negative sign here the level j prediction residual can be obtained here the level j minus 1 approximation can be obtained at this particular point so to read the problem statement let us answer the question so a mean approximation pyramid is formed by forming a 2 by 2 block averages so as it was mentioned into the problem statement the neighborhood should be of 2 by 2 since the starting image that is given to us we have mentioned has four rows and four columns the dimensions we can write 4 by 4 because of that we can select capital j is equal to 2 and f of x comma y that is the input image it is placed into the level 2 of the mean approximation pyramid the level 1 approximation is by taking the 2 by 2 block averages over the f of x comma y and sub sampling we obtain that is for the first neighborhood we have the sub sampling average here we obtain 3.5 for the next region we obtain 5.5 taking the four constituent coefficient values in the image sample right on uh, the right hand side here on the upper hand here we have 11.5 and 13.5 in the last quadrant we can say so quadrant 1 2 3 and 4 the level 0 approximation in the similar fashion if you compute we obtain the value of the entire image that is equal to 8.5 the completed mean approximation pyramid thus we can represent here so this is actually the level j we can say here that is having the original image sample 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 
13, 14, 15, 16. The next step here we have at the intermediate that is 3.5, 5.5, 11.5, 13.5 .5, and lastly the apex of the pyramid we can show by the value 8.5 just computed here. Since no interpolation filtering is suggested, the pixel replication is used in the generation of the mean prediction residual pyramid levels. So by having the pixel replication into the mind, the level 0 of the prediction residual pyramid is the lowest resolution approximation with the value 8.5. The level 2 prediction residual is obtained by upsampling the level 1 approximation and subtracting it from the level 2 that is the original image. Thus we obtain here we have the original image minus the things that we have obtained by having the pixel replications and the averaging. So this has to be subtracted from the original image. So we obtain the resultant that is having the first element in the first row minus 2.5 minus 1.5 minus 2.5 minus 1.5 second row starts with 1.5 2.5 1.5 2.5 the four elements of the third row are minus 2.5 minus 1.5 again minus 2.5 minus 1.5 the last row has 1.5 2.5 1.5 2.5 .5. similarly the level 1 prediction residual is obtained by upsampling the level 0 approximation and subtracting it from the level 1 approximation to yield the data here we have the subtraction of the matrix here that is having the constituent elements 8.5 at these four places having the dimensions 2 by 2 from the matrix having 3.5 5.5 11.5 13.5 so the resultant is obtained as minus 5 in the first row first element second element is minus 3 the next row has the coefficient values that is 3 and 5. The mean prediction residual pyramid is therefore written as the base we can say here base of the pyramid and this is the apex of the pyramid. So the base starts with the first row minus 2.5 minus 1.5 minus 2.5 the third element and the fourth element minus 1.5. The next row 1.5 2.5 1.5 2.5 third row minus 2.5 minus 1.5 again the repetition of minus 2.5 and minus 1.5. The last row has 1.5, 2.5, 1.5, 2.5. The intermediate label into the pyramid here we have minus 5, minus 3, 3, 5 and the apex given by 8.5. So this completes the answer to the miscellaneous problem number 1 based on to the understandings of image pyramid that is the initial approach to have the multi-resolution analysis. By the next lecture we shall be addressing the miscellaneous problem number 2 based on to the total concepts that we have studied in this chapter wavelets and multi-resolution processing. So if you like the videos, the practical sessions and the miscellaneous problem practices for more information you can subscribe to eKeda channel. Thank you.